going on everybody? I'm so excited to be here. This is your February training for the I Love My Body membership and I'm very excited to do some coaching and a little training and a little Q&A answering. So, um, you know, whatever questions you have, feel free to type them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them for you and I'm not only happy but excited. Um, Let's get set up over here. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Tripod, come on. Come on, come on, tripod. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so what I wanted to start with was something that my clients, my one-on-one -on -one clients have been asking about a lot lately, and then also my um, uh, course clients. Like, So there's just been so much talk about this one word lately and this one word seems to define our ability to reach the goals that we want be where we want to be in life um feel happiness feel um excited about our lives feel joy um all of it like all the best stuff in life seems to correspond to this one word and the releasing of this one word specifically that word is shame Shame is something that runs rampant in our culture. It is such a, um, I hate that it's this, but it's like such a normal thing. And shame is something that definitely overtook my life for forever and still pops up for me from time to time. I have better systems to move past it and move through it, but I'm a human being, so I still have shame about stuff. Um, but now I have better systems to be able to be like, to see it when it's happening and, and to shift and change. So I'm excited to talk to you about some of that stuff today. As I mentioned, um, type in questions at any time you want and I'm happy to answer them for you. Um, what else? What else, what else? Um, oh yeah, well we're about to go into our third month of the year, March, and I think that's so important for us to recenter you know there's this big push for like next year is going to be the best year and i'm going to make all these changes and i'm going to make all these shifts in december and then in january it's like all these like i'm going to be a new person kind of thing um and then a couple months in it tends to be like we're not even thinking about it anymore so i want to remind you that you set goals for 2019 and there are things that you wanted to achieve this year and there are things you want to do and it's still all available to you as available as it felt on December 31st and January 1st, it's still that available. And um, you can shift and change in any moment. And just because two months have passed does not mean that you're set back in any way, shape or form. It just means if you care about it, let's start taking action on it now. Talking about shame will help you do that too. Because it'll help you like release some of the stuff that's um, maybe holding you back from taking action or getting started or like motivation. Motivation can totally get halted by shame. So shame in general, actually let's look up the definition of shame. Hold on. I'm, I know what I think it means, but like I've never looked at the actual definition. Sometimes looking up the actual definition is very um, enlightening and interesting. Okay, shame. A painful feeling of humiliation or distress called caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior and then the other definition is of a person action or situation making someone feel ashamed okay um, so shame painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by a consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior so it's coming to your mind that there was something that you did that was wrong and foolish and whatever and the things we assign shame to are that's where shame really gets us um, a lot of times we assign shame where shame doesn't need to be assigned so you are this this person who is whole and complete as you are, you were born whole and complete, you've always been whole and complete, the only reason you wouldn't feel whole and complete or take action on things from a place of feeling whole and complete 
is because you told yourself a different story. You just covered up the whole incompleteness with feeling like, oh, I'm not whole and complete, or there's something wrong with me, or there's something that needs to be done or changed or made better or whatever. So it's coming back to knowing you are already whole and complete, you always have been. Um, but the decisions that you make don't require you to feel shameful. Um, even if it's something you feel really bad about or you wish you didn't do or in society is like looked down upon or is looked at as wrong, there's nothing wrong with you. Like that is really the, the biggest issue that I see is people tell themselves that there's something wrong with them or that they're bad or unworthy of a good life because they made certain decisions or um, whatever. And it's just, you when you do that, you totally forget that you're human. Like you're a human, people make mistakes. Anybody you talk to, there's no one you could talk to that could tell you that they haven't made like quote unquote mistakes in their life, right? So with the I Love My Body membership, the reason I'm bringing this up for the body is because shame keeps us from the motivation to work out and eat healthy and make healthy choices. Shame keeps us from allowing the body, the weight to leave our bodies. If we're ashamed that we did certain things, we won't let ourselves release weight. If we're ashamed for who we are and how we look, that's like when a woman comes to me and she's like, I'm trying everything and nothing is working. I'm like, oh, you got a lot of shame. Like there's other things happening too, but like that means you got a lot of shame going on because you're not allowing yourself to lose the weight. You don't feel like you deserve it. You don't feel like you're good enough to do it. You don't feel like it's safe. You don't feel like you're worthy of it. And you are, but you just told yourself a story that you're not based off of doing this, this, and this. A lot of times it's that you're punishing yourself. So if you ever feel like you're punishing yourself, um, there's guaranteed a lot of shame behind that. And it's probably a big thing keeping you from following through on the goals that you have and reaching the results that you want. Um, the best part about this is that it's not required. You don't have to punish yourself and you don't have to feel shame, that's a choice. So um, you've chosen that by doing this, this, or this, or being like this, you deserve to feel ashamed or you deserve to punish yourself or you deserve to not feel love or whatever. And it's simply not true. <laughs> like it's just the thing you decided a lot of times it's something you decided based off of what somebody else told you about yourself and you just believe them. Which, until we know a better way, that's usually what we do. I did this for so much of my life as I let other people define me, I let other people tell me about me. Like, they would say, you're this, or you're that, or you're like this, you're this kind of a person. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm that, that kind of person. That must mean that I am that, right? Instead of just saying, wait, is that what I think I am? Let me check in with me first and find out if that's that gels with my perspective of the world. I just heard them say it about me and I was like, oh God, they must be right, so I'm gonna take their opinion. And if it was something not nice, then I carried a lot of shame and I judged myself a lot because of that thing. Instead of feeling like, oh, you don't define me, I define myself. And if you wanna say that stuff about me and that's your opinion, that's fine but it doesn't change my opinion of myself because I understand that I am whole and complete. Nothing I do could make me more whole and complete because I'm already the most whole and complete. Nothing I, I make a mistake on or fail on could take away my whole and completeness because I just am, like that's you. Like you, there, nothing can take away your whole and completeness unless you decide it does. The only thing that could take it away is you saying, and it would never actually be taken away, but it, you could feel like it's taken away by just you making the decision that you can take it away. So something I'll remind myself every day when I'm journaling is I'll ask myself, what are the things I think I need to do today? And then I'll write down a list and I'll be like, I do not need to do this to feel whole and complete. I do not need to do this to be whole and complete. I don't need to do this to be whole and complete because I already am whole and complete. So based off of already feeling like I'm whole and complete, what do I want to do? And from that space, there is no pressure. And pressure tends to push away and repel the things that you want. So if you want a better body, if you want to lose weight, if you want to make more money, if you want a better relationship, um, anytime there's heavy pressure on it, it repels it away from you. So um, when I want something and it's not coming, I have to go back and ask myself, where am I putting pressure on this? Where do I feel like I have to have this thing in order to be whole and complete? Because 
it's a false story and I gotta remind myself I'm already whole and complete so I don't need that thing to make me more whole and complete. Um, so say it's like a certain number on the scale. Say you want to lose 20 pounds and you keep saying to yourself, I have to lose those 20 pounds. Do you need to lose the 20 pounds to be whole and complete? No, you don't because you already are. Um, losing those 20 pounds will not make you any better, right? It could be a bonus. It could be like an awesome addition to your life, but it's not going to make you more whole and complete. Does that make sense? So your whole incompleteness is just already there. It's already intact. But if you feel, if you really, really feel like I have to lose 20 pounds for this person to like me, or I have to lose 20 pounds to look better so that I get this job or get a promotion or get paid more or people want to work with me more, or I have to lose 20 pounds so that people will love and accept me or so that this person will be attracted to me or so that this person will tell me they love me more. Um, that's all coming from heavy pressure and that's going to repel the motivation to do the things to get you there. So it'll repel your motivation to work out. It'll repel your motivation to make healthy food choices. You might make some here and there, but to have like a consistent, easy, effortless flow of that, you've got to get yourself to a state where you're um, you've removed the pressure and you're like, do you know what? I am whole and complete no matter what. Like the you being yourself, just like your, your truest self, the happy, the sunshine, even the times when things go wrong and you know, things aren't perfect. Like, but you being yourself and not commiserating and not, you know, anything like that. Those are all learned behaviors. If you're just being yourself, like your, your radiant sunshine self, why I wear a lot of yellow and bright colors because I like to remind myself, okay, you're sunshine. Like, just be sunshine. It's like my clothing reminder. But like, this is within every single person. You're sunshine. You just have it. You just are. So, if you keep coming back to that place of I am sunshine and I'm whole and complete no matter what, you will not feel like you have to you have to eat this certain thing for dinner tonight so that you can lose weight so that this person can like you or so that you can get promoted or so that um, people will treat you differently because nobody's going to treat you differently until you know that you're whole and complete and no amount of weight loss is going to do that for you. It's you realizing that you already are. Does that make sense? So that's really the biggest thing. Um, I'm going to look and see if anybody put any comments or questions on here the um, of things you wanted me to answer that I might have missed. Let me just go back through here. Okay, well, no, we're good. Um, I'll just talk about this a little bit more and then we'll, then we'll head out. It'll be a great training for the day um, or for the month. And remember, you can always submit questions ahead of time. If something comes up for you, just um, tag me on the Facebook page and then I will add it to the questions for next month's training. So for the March training, I can do that in any one after. But um, the shame thing is huge. It's Shame comes from feeling like you're not whole and complete and you're not good enough already. So it's like, you can look at it as like whether you resonate with God or the universe, like anytime you're shaming yourself, you're not one with God in the universe because that's not you. Like shame is not built into you, it's learned. Um, what's built into you is knowing that you're whole and complete and that's like being one with God, being one with the universe. Like I know I'm whole and complete, I know I am enough, no amount of weight loss is going to do that for me. And some people will worry and they'll say, well, won't that make me unmotivated? If I just feel like I'm whole and complete and I don't have to do anything, won't I just like stay overweight or won't I just stay in a body that I don't love? And it's like, no, like we, th you might think that that could happen because you'll be just so content. But when you're in a blaze of whole and completeness, you want to keep evolving into your best, right? But it doesn't come from pressure. It just comes from, wouldn't that be cool if I, uh, had more energy, wouldn't that be cool if I felt um, different in my body? Wouldn't that be cool if I could like do, like climb more or run more or whatever like your lights up your soul or surf more or um, 
I don't know, roller skate more. <laughs> like, whatever sounds funny, or dance more. Like, you come from a place of, I'm already whole and complete, and everything's awesome here, so from this place, what sounds really fun? And what sounds really awesome? What's the next thing I want to, to do to just evolve the awesomeness, to keep it going, to keep the, the great stuff going? And then you come from a lack of pressure and you want to do it. That's where the motivation comes from, right? Like, so to give you an example for me of my body, like I know that my body is whole and complete as it is. I love my body. I love how it looks. Like I, I think it's beautiful. And I know nobody's going to lose love for me over gaining weight or losing it. Like I just know that my body is whole and complete as it is. Um, from that place, it's really fun to think about cool, like it would be fun to um, to tighten my abs or to like lift my booty or whatever. So then from that place, it's that's not pressure. So it's not like, oh my God, I have to make sure I do all these ab and booty workouts like every day and make sure I eat certain foods so that I can reach this goal because that when I do that, people will like me more, love me more, respect me more, whatever, or I'll be safer or whatever it is. Um, I'm not thinking that. I'm just thinking... That sounds really fun. And so I'm motivated to naturally have all these great ideas. You know, a friend might call me up and be like, hey, I found this like awesome outdoor um, step, like hiking trail that's really like on a big incline. So good for your booty. You wanna go? And I'll be like, yeah, that sounds super fun. Let's do that. That sounds amazing. Or I might be like, do you know what? Like, I just wanna do like a fun booty workout video. Or um, I'm just inspired to eat these certain foods that make me feel really good. It's not coming from a pressure. It's only coming from a place of I feel great. Um, I love and accept myself fully. I am whole and complete. And I'm not saying that like this is like effortless. I'm not sitting around all day every day just being like I'm whole and complete. I have so many times when I'm just like uh, I'll like see myself or something like that, and I, I have a moment where I'm like. Uh, and then I'm like, no, I'm whole and complete. Like I'm good. I'm fine. I love him. I love my body. I love and accept it. No person, no changing my body one way or another could ever make somebody love me more, especially myself. I just love myself. And that's like, oh yeah, done. So, and then you keep flowing from that beautiful place. That's where inspired action comes from. That's where your body gets to shift and change. And this is a big deal. So I'm so excited to share this information with you and watch you apply it to your lives because it's gonna bring about massive change and massive transformation. So enjoy, uh, leave me, um, if you're watching this on the Facebook page, leave me a comment below and tell me what resonated the most with you about this. And if you're watching it on the web page, then you can go over to the Facebook page and leave a comment and say, hey, watch the February 2019 training video. Uh, our Q&A video and this is my biggest takeaway and this is what I'm taking action on and whatever feels best to you. So just know you're whole and complete, you're awesome, you deserve the best things in life, um, you're made for great things and there's no reason that you couldn't, shouldn't or wouldn't have that stuff unless you tell yourself a story that you aren't supposed to have it. And you are. Okay, I love you, I see you, I support you. I'm here for you. Um, I'm holding you to your highest and seeing you living your best life. Love you. See you.